My name is Ryan Burke and I just love guitars. That's why I'm traveling the whole world to try as many as I can. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum Road Case. This episode is brought to you by Gun Street Wiring Shop. Unlock your guitar's hidden tones with an expertly crafted custom wiring harness. Tysco Pedals. I use them. I love them. Maybe you will too. Tour Gear Designs and their amazingly small and flat patch cables. And Big Ear Pedals, harnessing the cosmic power of cats to transport you into a new sonic dimension. Hey everyone, welcome to 60 Cycle Yum. Huh? Huh? Let's do some food stuff. Uh, I got a pile of tacos here. Jody, who owns and operates Coast Sonic, is also a restaurateur. He's got two restaurants. One is called Hago's Tacos in Encinitas, California. The other one, on this note here, Bird's Eye Kitchen, which is a Thai place. I'll be doing the Thai food in a, uh, in a different video. But my thought was, I could try, uh, try these tacos and uh, try to decide which guitar pairs with them best. <laughs> kind of a rough concept there. I've got three guitars here to compare to the tacos. I've got a BA Ferguson. I fell in love with these at summer and then winter NAM. Super fun, thin bodied guitars. Great sound, great feel, super duper simple, wrap around bridge, dialed in really nice. Fender Newporter. This thing blends into the background too good. I saw this and it just screamed tacos to me for some reason. Campfire on the beach, hang out with your friends, eating some tacos, playing acoustic guitar, the funky bolt-on. I think these were a 70s guitar. Weird, weird 70s sort of a Fender take on an acoustic. And then, what I understand is uh, one of the first years of Fender reissues, I think in 84, Jody was saying, Fender Telecaster. This thing is heavy for a Telecaster. It's got some heft to it. It's also loaded out with some hot rail pickups. Some kind of a unique fiberboard style pick guard there. I just want to play this thing. I mean, Butterscotch Telly. Tone for days on that, right? Which one do you think is gonna pair best with tacos? Let's see what we got here. Got a hot sauce. Mmm, good flavor on that. <laughs> is this good content? Do you guys like this? This is some sort of braised beef or pork. Yeah, I wanna say that's like a barbacoa style. Mmm, meat filling in there. I just dropped a bit. <laughs> I'll have to look for that later. It's like a gourmet style taco. That's a fancy taco. That's good stuff. I'm gonna have to take my wife on a date to this place. It's good. I wanna try a little bit of each of them. I don't know if they're all different. They look like they might be different. This one's got mango sticking out of it. it landed on my pedal board. Fish taco, I think. Yeah, fish taco. Like a fresh fish, a grilled fish, not a, uh, not a fried fish. Hmm. I like to try them without any sauce first. What kind of fish is that, Jody? I think that's sea bass. I don't think that's halibut. He said it's halibut or sea bass. I think that's sea bass. This is like a steak taco. Looks like it might have some sort of like hummus style sauce in here. Is that a steak taco or is that like lamb or something? That's like cubed. That is steak, okay. Grass fed beef, that's why it tastes different. Tasted a little bit earthier to me. And I was like, oh, is this a different kind of meat? This is good content, right guys? <laughs> Maybe I'll cut guitar playing in between all this. So it's not just me eating tacos for 20 minutes. 
Oh boy, that's delicious. I don't usually go for a fancy style taco, like a uh, elevated style taco, but these are really good. Like usually if I get a taco craving, I'm going to the local kind of like greasy corner spot, where this is definitely like a go out on a date, treat yourself sort of taco. They're delicious, they really are. But they're more of like a, a fancy ingredient sort of take on the taco concept. This one, I don't know. What is this? Chicken? Some kind of chicken taco. I probably need like six more cameras in here to shoot me like Guy Fieri style. Just like, mm, mm, like reacting, having all of these facial expressions if I'm gonna be a good food show host. <laughs> I think I prefer the other three. The chicken was good, but it's just not my, uh, not my flavors. So I think I'm gonna try to pair the fish. The other one was like a shredded beef, right? That's pork, okay. All right, so it turns out that shredded one is a pork. So I've got fish, pork, and grass-fed beef. Let's see if we can figure out which one goes with which guitar. And then I'm gonna finish eating these. is just fantastic. That's a bunch of fun. I I'm gonna have to compare it to uh, all the other guitars before I decide which taco it is. <laughs> but it just plays like a dream, light and fluttery. Uh, it needs uh, the bridge grounded. The control plate is grounded, the bridge is not grounded. So it needs that. Um, I'm surprised just how twingy and Telecaster-ish those hot rail pickups sound. I wonder what those are, because they seem to be a perfect match for this guitar. On to the B.A. Ferguson Flyweight.
one more quick taste. And then I'll be able to judge this. Also, I mean, it is lunchtime. I've made my decisions. It seems a little bit too obvious. But you get a plate of those fish tacos, you go down to the beach, sit around a bonfire, you're gonna have fun playing with this. It's a perfect match. It's a perfect match. This old Fender Newport, surprising amount of low end out of this thing. A lot of sparkle to it, a lot of clear tones, but also a very lo-fi kind of acoustic sort of sound. Very comfortable player because it plays on like an electric guitar because it has basically an electric guitar neck on it. It's fun. I like this guitar. I would totally, you know, kick this around a campfire or a beach bonfire or just hanging out by the shore, you know, having a nice fish taco. Now, this is where it starts getting a little tricky because it's less obvious. Pork versus beef. B.A. Ferguson versus Telecaster. I'm gonna say, talking about the B.A. Ferguson, instant bond with this guitar. I, I fell in love with these things at Summer Nam a year ago, and then again at Winter Nam six months ago. Um, I love the thin body. I love the super simple wraparound bridge that's dialed in really well, honestly. Uh, if you asked me what's the best wraparound bridge guitar I've ever played in my life, and it would be one of these B.A. Ferguson's. They just have figured out how to dial it in just right. It just rings true. It feels like it's intonation across the neck to me. I mean, maybe it sounds awful. My, maybe my playing is awful uh, and I make it sound bad in the recording, but it's just a pleasure to play super fat, fill your whole hand, baseball style neck on here. It feels like the neck is almost as thick as the body, but for some reason it just works. Like sometimes a thick neck feels bad and sometimes it feels good. This is a good feeling one. I love the looks, I love the playability. Versatile as heck. That's right, I swore, as heck. And for that reason, this is the pork taco. Pork being a sweet, versatile meat, this being a sweet, versatile guitar, well-balanced flavor, plenty of fat and heft to it, also filling out those sweet, sweet notes <laughs> that you find in that taco uh, with the, uh, the mango salsa and whatnot. Leaving the telly, I mean, not leaving it, it just happens to be that the telly is the beef. This is the beef taco. That steak taco, that earthy, earthy, grass-fed flavor. This thing, uh, it needs one repair to it. Uh, it. The bridge needs to be grounded. The control plate is grounded, the bridge is not, so it needs that repair, no big deal. Um, but man, this thing is fun. Early 80s, reissue Telecaster. Really great relic on this, beautiful guitar. Butterscotch telly. Doesn't taste like butterscotch, it tastes like beef taco. Uh, these pickups in it, I don't know what make these hot rails are, but they sound very appropriate for a Telecaster. This thing, not at one point, not at one point did this thing sound like, oh, it's, it's just hot humbuckers in a, in a guitar. No, it sounded like a Telecaster. It had that twang, it had that beef, it had that bark, it had the bite, it sounds like I'm describing a tree or a dog right now. Um, but it had that personality. It has a Telecaster personality. I love the details. I love this like Bakelite, Fiber Ward style pit guard here. Mmm, some fun guitars here. I would have no problem taking home either of these electric guitars. They're both just a ton of fun. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. What did you think of this concept? Tacos and guitars, potent pairings. I'm gonna pour some hot sauce on these and finish them right now. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like leave me rude, nasty comments.
click the links for all the sponsors, please and thank you. Uh, click the link for CoSonic to thank them for hosting me and also for supplying these tacos um, from Jody's restaurant, one of them, Hagos Tacos in Encinitas, California. I'm about to crush this fish taco here. And uh, you know what? Stay grounded. You deserve it. <laughs>